Hi guys, welcome. Uh, Doris Mutwa here na leo niko hapa na Truth Watchdog mwenyewe. Hi. Hi. Mimi napenda ile intro yako ebu. Ladies and gentlemen, kama kei kama kawa na walete ukweli kaa dawa mkipenda mna meza mkikataa tunawamezesha. Karibuni kwenye hapa na Truth Watchdog hapa hivi. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. Uko poa? I mean coffee. So uh, content yako mob ina kuanga informative content. Yeah, wewe unapatanga je information yako? Hi, that's a good question. Wewe umeanza vizuri. Actually, uh you know something called information it means you rely so much on uh, on the environment around you yeah na so me kuna say wengi sana na connect nao vizuri just like uh, kuna maofisa kuna some cases wananiambia chini ya maji bro ongelee kitu kuna maraia unasikia msana kupigia simu kuna shida fulani mali fulani so ukienda unachunguzwa unapata eh hey, hapa kuna ukweli so environment mimi ni feed na information sana sana i rely on people like people are information yeah. So uko na wase wako wenye wanakuambia anga this is going on ama all over Kenya. Wow. Uh, okay, Truth Watchdog is a representation of a legion. Mm -hmm. Okay? So mimi kama tuseme sahi kitu kanifanyikia sahi. Bado mtu na Truth Watchdog mwingine. Same channel. Mm -hmm. Na hiyo channel ikianguka inafunguliwa nyingine. It's just a number of so many people so much tired of the way we are running our 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 our, our, our home mm -hmm. because Kenya Atwezi yenda kwa muhonzi, in your place. Okay. So there are people so many, wanyo wako na madaraka, wanyo wana madaraka, wana feel we can live better together without have actually having to pull down people. Now the only way to do that is getting someone on the ground, mwanya mekua in both worlds. Nona, kama sa mta mi naelewa mta, naelewa mayut mbaya. So investigations angu ni kiduna mayut, ata saini kwa shua ni kikuambia, wacha ni dress ni kam, ni takupitapo ni uleze uyo msa na ishu wapi. So blending in and being able to actually gather information because that's how to can design your policy. I work in investigate either what I come or she came or I investigate na kuja gata to naibana nyinyi na learn is a method kabisa na jua locations ni gani na gana gani leader ni nani. So mina kam kwa empower wa Kenya usipite mali flani gida flani indio for me a kuiba is indio tools on atomia. Ju already nisha iba na wao ni mwaprovia can be part of you. So by the time I'm leaving that site, I was a wise survivor pale pale. Ju kila kitu inajulikana venye na happen. Unona? So that is the difference between now the, the government world and my world. But I'm working for both. I, but my heart is with Kenyans so much. Ndiyo mwana sisi kwa informa. Minu nuna fanya kazi poa sana ku expose easy V2. Mm -hmm. So ni mkwatika kukuliza. Mtu ashai ku... Uh, threaten hivi ama kukubribe ndio usi expose kitu actually both <laughs> <laughs> unajua kikataa kuchukua bribe sasa inakuwa gani viti vitisho yeah inakuwa gani vitisho so kama there is an issue kuna mama fulani alikuwa gani nataka kusimama mp alikuwa anachukua ma food hizi food za red cross okay ana ana kama anagawia wase huko wakati elections ndio apatiwe nini i mean yenda nikamwanika so at the end of the day alikama kaji wa ubo ya naka area anaka wapi so ika kuwa nilete wa walikuwa nita kunipatia 75 g's ni nyama zi story ya mimi nika ambia zi sasa hindi umekosea hata unge niambio kwa 75 g's unge niambio na rudisha food wakakama wakafanya ujinga flani wakanunuwa maunga zote kwa duka so that you make line and go get one nini one packet of unga alafu umeku shota vote vote for her so mimi nika wanaini upuzi I, I, I exposed her na kanza kunitishia mbaka kantumewa say so na siye peke yake everyday threats come and we feed on threats by the way it's only was not shibisha so how do you protect yourself from such threats uh, like I said I don't work alone mm -hmm. I have a I have a team of people high end wenye kakiari beka me you just make a call na sama eh hey, leo sitaki kulala Kenya UG kwa haji either UG TZ or anywhere ama wananiletea tu maofisa wanakana mimi kama kuna story yako yenye niliona hata niliona watu wanauliza online uh, enye ulikuwa attacked by 300 people yep. yes how did you like ulimaneuver aje hao watu wasikuumize ama na pia umetrain for how long ndio upate those skills za kumaneuver in such a situation ah um, mtao kufunza kitu kwa kwanza unajua mimi nazaliwa mtaani so yeye na kufunza gatu sababu umecheki kama tuseme mmengoi umecheki venye sana gotwa 
So lazima tuko <laughs> lazima kwa mjanja that is one. But secondly also my training helps me a lot. Of course umati usiai react. Umati wewe na react. Ni kama tukichochana. Hey bro tupige mse tupige mse. So ukicheki vitu kaizo zina happen. If you do the same you're the one who is going to hurt because our say walikuwa hapa archives and i had just come from an interview nilikuwa naenda kupanguziwa viatu so there is no way ungeniambia like uh, wanajua niko hapa i was not with my phone i was not with my secret cameras taking videos i was just like uh, yani easy nongwe nongwe ni wa kenya mtachanuliwa mpaka lini unaenda kuambia vitu za taozi kuna kitu ya bure hata pen ukiokota tao pen wewe hiyo pen iko na reason iko hapo pen mpya na nguka aje na mtu asiyokota na uchumi so that time it was it was intense by the way it was really really intense because uh ilikuwa ambush i had not planned for anything like that i was not going to take a video but when you alini attack ndio nikafanya video wakachukua mpaka simu yangu akaangalia waone video na wenye wanajichukua unaona wakaangalia wakaingia kwa recycle bin waka delete kila kitu wakaingia kwa gallery waka delete kila kitu information zingine hata important na kwa fuatili a different case sio hizo. So ni god kwanza. Acha niseme tu ni god sababu watu wenye wali come through kuni help. There were a few CID officers walikuwa wanafanya kazi yao. Kuni cheki wananijua. So nikabonga alafu wakati nilimeka call nikasema hata kama polisi watatu. They were the first one kuniambia cheza chi cheza chini. So hiyo help ya ma officer ilini ilini boost sana kwanza energy because nilijua hapa kakiwaka nitashika kama watatu nikishika tatu niko sure mapolisi watakuja so that was one alafu secondly pale ivo kuna kwa ga fire station mapolisi walikam faster sana they were instructed very quickly they were there so hiyo pia ilinisaidia and then mwenye biashara pia nilikuwa nime notice ni kama nime mwana mahali so kumuuliza uliza akaonanikana aka jua kwake yeye akakuwa mpole ndio akanita kando akaambia ma boys watulie lakini ingekuwa mbaya yeah. Wow. Eh basi eh wewe eh wewe. Nimekuta <laughs> mpua. So ni nini una feel sasa hii inaendelea enye wa Kenya wanafaa kujua kuhusu. First of all uh, sisi sema wa Kenya naweza sema a click of wa Kenya. We are in a generation that our parents have lost way. Unaona? Sasa hii wezi uliza mzazi as in mzazi wa mtu advice kama sa, kama sasa mzazi wa mtu ni pastor Kanyari. Unaenda kuuliza aje Kanyari advice uko serious. <laughs> pastor CG at Jesus of Tongarin. Na unaona hata hizi machach zote. But then this is a message to Pastor T. As you condemn evil, start with your pastors, your fellow workmates, yeah? Eh, yeah, hawa sana to mislead. Wacha kutuambia si wenye dhambi, si tunajua. Ndio tunakuja kwako lakini ambia Jesus of Tongarin. Ambia the likes of Nganga. Sema ukweli, wacha ku kushika tu kako kanini kako ka group kako ati i am teaching these ones this is what i need makondo kama nyi ndio mbuzi basi changamkeni so the thing is this yeah apart from that is a uh, mayut mayut tunajiangusha mbaya sana as in mayut tunaskamu watu mayut tunapigana as in sisi kwa sisi unaona hiyo hiyo kitu hiyo ndio sasa kitu wenye wa Kenya wanafaa kujua that is what the more you you know you engage in fights the more watu wengine wana progress nyinyi mkiwa the same same position because ku grow kwako inaniuma sitaki ugrow atakawanguke alafu pia wa Kenya wana embrace hiyo kitu 